Oh hey, welcome back to Hard Circle Homestead. It's been a couple months, I know. We have uh, been busy, mostly with our own personal stuff. We bought a house, we moved, we've been putting in the road. All of these things are not that exciting to videotape, so we haven't made any videos, plus we've been kind of busy. So here we are, back with the, the next video in our Hard Circle Homestead adventure. Uh, we we're gonna try mushrooms. So we went and bought a mushroom kit from Windmere Farms. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna kill myself over here. Bought some from Windmere Farms. So we have to figure out how to do this and I'm gonna take you along. So we got a box with some instructions, some mushroom spawn, and some wax. So we'll see if I can figure out how to make uh, mushroom logs, which we have over there, and uh, and you'll be with us in about a year, six months, whenever these things either uh, grow or don't grow, whether they're logs with mushrooms in them or just logs with a bunch of holes in them. So let's get going. Ugh. Let's read the instructions for the first time. Keep your plugs refrigerated. Okay, we didn't do that. It's been a week. They've been sitting on our table. Okay, pick a tree. We have a tree. It says pick a species for a tree. I don't know what these are. If anyone near Frederick, Maryland wants to teach me how to f identify hardwoods, thank you. Yeah, okay. Now we drill some holes. The kit that we got has the little drill on it. Okay, I understand why people do this with a grinder now. It's gonna take a while, we got a thousand of those holes to drill. Maybe I can recruit Lisa. Ah, oh, do, do, do. And I'm assuming you just plug the holes with these. What you're supposed to do with that extra mushroom thing that's growing. Okay, so it says it's going to be here for six to 18 months or something around the nine. Allow the log to incubate, aka, don't do it. You can see it's being as a slightly cathartic as. You just do it once and then you last four to six years according to these instructions. Not exactly a short term investment though. Alright, so now that we've got all the holes almost plugged, what do I do next? I assuming we just sealed. Hammer the doubts. And today, seal each hole with melted wax. Given that this is hard trouble homestead, the only thing I have to melt the wax is the, this thing. Let's see how well this works. Very effective at melting the wax. Maybe slightly too effective. Also, I burned the log. Might not have been the best tool for the job, but it works. My fingers are going to be really burnt. Okay, I'm going to find some pliers or something. Alright, so I'm back. Back with some fly scraps. I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay, that actually works pretty well. Let's flip it over on the logs that I did earlier, the holes I drilled earlier. Mostly because they were drilled earlier because the camera's pointing the wrong direction. All right, did I get all the holes? 
Okay. I know professional uh, mushroom makers are probably cringing at my technique, but works pretty well for me. As the okay downside using vice grips, breaker wax. Um, So, that's all I got now for Heart Struggle Homestead, so thanks for watching, um, keep in touch, we should be posting more videos more often, I think the world is becoming less crazy, at least our little world, so if you like it, subscribe, if not, well, it was good seeing you here, we'll have more videos coming out soon, find us on Instagram at Heart Struggle Homestead, and uh, yeah, oh, we also have a sale going on right now for chicken if you're in the Frederick area, Frederick, Maryland area, 20% off our chicken for the next two weeks, I think. And uh, yeah, you can find those at uh, Frederick Fresh Online. It's where we sell through mostly. So yeah, good seeing you. It's been a while. We'll talk to you later. I have no clue what that big loud noise was, but I hope it wasn't something bad. Or someone coming. Right. Well, until next time, thanks for watching. And we'll see you again.